what's up you guys it's your girl Maish Renee aka Glitter and Gills and today I want to show you really quick how to bake your plastics on a Texas rig okay so it's super simple you guys all you're gonna need is your um, wide gap hook and your um, Cinco so the first thing you want to do is look for the nose there you go it's gonna be rounded tip because you know this area is more of like the tail so you go right through the nose right in the middle just dip it in there maybe a quarter um, half an inch and so go right in that little tip just like that and then exit right back out once it looks like this okay you know you're doing it right you see that all right and so then you want to just go ahead and just push it all the way around till you get to this neck area and then once you get to the neck you see that just give it a turn push it up and give it a turn if you did it right, it should literally fit perfectly right there because you have that little loop because your line would be right through there. So once you do that, look at, looks good, looks good. All right, so then we want to go ahead and do is give it just a scooch down just a little bit and then push it through. You see that? It's already straight. It should literally be straight like this. This is ready. This is good. Now, I'm in a Delta, so we fish with a lot of grass, so I love to go weedless. So therefore, now I need to go ahead and Give it a little pinch down. That's simple. I'm just going to go right up just to hide that in there. And there we go. We're weedless. Oh, here comes our little, <laughs> here comes our ducks. Let the ducks go by. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Some people like to go completely under. I mean, you know, then you just need to set that hook a little bit harder. Um, I find that just going to tipman is it works for me. It's enough. Then you go ahead and check it out. It looks good. That's perfect. That's how it should look, and that'll work for you. Your line will be coming straight up out of here. If you want to go weight um weighted, then you would use a bullet weight. Let's let me get it so you can see. You use a bullet weight. And you just put that thing right on it'd be around the top right just like that and so that will go on your line first through the nose that will go on your line first then you put on your um wide gap hook and that's that's weighted right there this is much larger than i would use on a daily basis but this is needed sometimes um so it is up to you how you want to swim it what do you need how the current how the wind is going and you can also use a split shot as well. Honestly, a lot of times I'm just throwing on a split shot really quick because I may be going weightless the majority of the time and then I find that I want to go a little faster or a little deeper, so I'll go ahead and put on a split shot. But this is um, Texas Rig right here, and this is very effective. It works really good. All right, you guys, so we'll do one more really quick just to show you the difference in the plastic baits. All right, let's see. Let's just grab another hook. All right, so... Here we go we'll try with this one it's no difference you're gonna go right through the nose all right see that exit right back out there we go all right same concept swing all around spin it and this one could have went a little bit shorter but it'll work all right and then we're gonna go and push it through all right, look at that. And then let's go ahead and dip it in. And this wide gap one's a little bit wider, but that's fine. There you go, same concept. There we are, looks good. Now I want to show you guys how to wacky rig your plastic baits. So let me just show you really quick. All right, so we're gonna start with nice little chartreuse bait so you can be able to see really good, right? This is a good one too. And then we'll do a small hook. Usually these are ideal for um, doing a racket wig. You can even go smaller, um, but um, to be honest, I've used a wide gap. Majority of the time, I'm probably just switching right over to wide gap because I just want to go ahead and switch the look of my bait really quick. But the ideal way um, is to go ahead and go with something smaller. So if you wanted to, really quick, let me show you that. If you wanted to, you could just go straight in find the middle out to know for me to know I'm in the right area I kind of just give it the little dangly test you see how that is you know one side is uneven so there you go I know that's my area right so then you go in just enough 
wacky rig that simple and this thing falling um in the water very slow you can put you can put a, a little um bullet weight on there or you can put like a little um small weight you know split shots up to you um how fast you want to sink down but this sinking in that water looks really good really really good to a bass irresistible and so that's all you need to do now if you want to save your worm because you want to prolong it and make it last you know because this is going to beat your worm up a bit especially if that bass gets on it so just take that out carefully and use one of these so it's these little rubber band things that we have here go ahead and just push it up you see that go ahead and get your Cinco. there's a little hole right get your Cinco right and it's made for this find your area and then just go ahead and just push that on roll it over you see that always test there we go all right get your hook which is this is also very well for a drop shot and then you just go right up under let me get that little area just how I want it. I like to bend it. It's easier for me. There we go. And then once you have that hook on there, there you go. That's wacky. And you're actually going to, it's actually going to wiggle a little better when it's on the hook like that. When you're using those little rubber bands, you can find them anywhere. Um, They're super easy to find. They're very cheap. But once you rig it up like that, Man, I'm telling you, you're going to get a bite. If you don't get a bite, there's no fish, okay? Um, if you're not getting a bite the first time, um, first couple of times, go ahead and change your color. I mean, this right here, this is a hitter. I literally caught my PB, um, almost eight and a half pound largemouth bass on this watermelon red, okay? Green pumpkin and watermelon red. I'm, I literally caught my um, PB on this. I have a video, if you go look for... Um, in the beginning of the page, I think I have it on one of my highlighted. Hopefully, um, I'll remember and I can put it um, so you can, you know, go ahead and click the link. But very intense video, very very crazy video. Um, almost lost the fish. Super super good fight, fun fight, and it was at night. But I caught my PB on this one right here, um, and I want to say it was a sink. I want to say that it was wacky. So. Um, check that out, you guys. But here you go. That's how you rig up a wacky worm. All right. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, let them know your girl is out here. And as always, I hope you guys catch these smiles. And I'll catch you guys later. All right.